you suffer from overstuffed bank syndrome? Do you wish you could better manage your inventory? Well, then this video is for you. There are several ways to clean up your bank in Borderlands 3, but the best method and the one that works for everybody, whether you're on console, PC, or even Atari 2600, is to make mules. Now, don't let this fancy terminology fool you. Mules are just a pinkies out way of saying characters that are going to haul your junk around for you. If you own any of the Borderlands 3 DLCs, then you can not only make a mule, but you can have it load directly into Sanctuary and grab Grab your extra loot to stash away. Here's how. Step one, click new game and then select any of the level 13 DLC options. Obviously, handsome jackpot's the fastest. Don't worry, it's not gonna force you to go into the DLC and do anything. Next, since this is just a mule, either select operative, beastmaster, or gunner. The reason you don't want to choose the siren is because her vault is the furthest distance away from spawn. It's not much, but it's a little bit. You can then choose either easier or normal. It doesn't matter which one you pick here, but the next option is critical. You must choose choose cooperation. This enables the lost loot machine in Sanctuary 3, and that's important because that's how your mules are going to get money to unlock their backpack slots. Now, after selecting this, the Marcus cutscene plays. You can skip this as quickly as you can, and then make your way straight to the lost loot machine in Sanctuary 3. Empty this thing out, and then head to Marcus's shop and sell all of your inventory. Everything. You won't need anything at all on your mule. Their job is to stay on Sanctuary 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Then, Turn to the SDU upgrade machine right there in the middle of Marcus's shop and buy nothing but backpack upgrades. Buy as many as you can. Then head back over to your vault and take out whatever you want to store on your mule. Now I've found that sorting by weapon or item type works best for me, but feel free to use any system of inventory management that works well for you. So for me in this situation, I'm taking out pistols to store on this mule. Once I have all of the ones that I can carry or all the ones that I want to take with me, I exit the vault, then I head over to the new U machine and I rename my character. Now this is important so that you can quickly figure out on the main screen which mule has what items later on. So I named this one level 72 pistols 3 since I already have two other pistol mules. Now feel free to use whatever naming system works best for you. After that save quit and you now have your first mule. Now to get more mules take any of your max level vault hunters and head over to the slaughter shaft on Pandora. Do round one and only round one and then leave everything else on the ground unless you find something useful to stash of course. After one round, save and quit, and all of that loot that you left on the ground will go to your lost loot machine for the next mule to pick up and use for more backpack SDUs. Rinse and repeat this process as needed. I hope this guide was helpful to you guys. If it was, then please take a second to hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more Borderlands tips, tricks, and information. Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything else you'd like a guide on. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.